Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it might be for you. It's always five o'clock somewhere, I say. Let's get into some lyric track discussion. Lyric track dialogue. Here we go. Uh, a lot of you know that uh, I have lyric tracks that have been added to the singing faces, and it's a blessing. If you've ever mapped LMS uh, files, for singing faces, you know it could be a bit of a chore, a bit of a pain, and a lyric track is just easier. So I'm going to walk you through that process. Uh, all of my singing faces have lyric tracks. At least they should. I think most do. Anyway, let's get into this. Here's the step. Uh, if you buy the singing face add-on, you're going to download it. It's going to be a lyric track or X timing, uh, and we'll look at that. And here's what you do. Make sure you download it and you put it in a folder somewhere. Then you come over here and make sure you have your sequence in. If you have an existing sequence, this is uh, Deck the Halls. I believe, uh, what is it? Hold on, let's play it. Yeah, Deck the Halls by Glee. Awesome. So there are four parts in this. There are four singing faces in here. So I have my four singing faces. Great. I've got my music. But there's something you need to do before you start bringing in this file, this lyric track. Go to your layout, click on your tree, make sure that in the singing faces, right down here, click on the button next to it, click to edit, make sure that it says singing tree. And it has the mouth movements, whether it's the bulb, the tree, the branch, doesn't matter. You want to do this for each because it's going to rely on these mouth movements to work for you. It works the same way if you're going to use it for a matrix. You have to make sure it is set up appropriately. So we just go through each one of these, singing tree, and you can also change the color. If I want the outline color of this to be, I don't know, that color. Ooh, that's a mean one. And we'll click save, and then this one here, Singing faces, oh, what, 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 clicked on the wrong one, Ron, faces, there we go, and just make sure it is set to singing faces, confirm that you do have the mouth movements necessary for that model, and we will see in the Grinch, it probably is already in there, it is beautiful. Save, go back over to your sequencer, we are now ready to import the downloaded lyric track from the singing faces that you might have purchased. Right click, import timing track. And then we go find this on the desktop, singing faces example, glee deck the rooftop dot x timing. These are x timing files, you call them lyric tracks, whatever you like. You click open and bada boom, bada bang, here we go. There are four singing parts. Um, and this kind of works great. Um, one thing I will tell you, depending on your monitor, uh, I'm in 1920 by 1080 on this, and if you're on a laptop, uh, you may realize that you have so little room under here, and so you start squeezing all this stuff down, trying to get room, and next thing you know, you can't see your effects. I don't know why this hasn't been addressed. I'm sure it will at some point. It's still early in the year. What I suggest is just double-click on each one of these, and this will kind of zip it up to where you can get a little more real estate space here to see what you're doing. Now... For our comfort, I've scooted all these singing faces up toward the top. So now that you've got this to where you can see it, we're going to drag a singing face onto the first tree, and we're going to stretch this out for the entire song. And you'll see this is already using face definition singing tree, right? You might have bulbs, you might use matrix, you might have a different singer. Uh, this one happens to be a singing tree, and these are the colors that I defined for it. Uh, it's already showing outline. Uh, a lot of times you may not see any of this. This may be set to off. So set to eyes to auto. It'll blink randomly. Set show outline. It will show it. And I also kind of like this. Suppress when not singing. So when the characters are not seeming, singing, they disappear. Well, I guess you could say they suppress, but disappearing sounds more natural. Anyway. So this is just showing the different movements, right? That's not going to help you. That's not going to do anything in your sequence. You go to your timing track and you tell it this is the first tree and it's going to sing. Let's watch it. Beautiful. Just what we wanted. 
And now we need to get the other three trees in. And here is how simple it is, folks. Check this out. Copy this, Control C or Edit Copy. Control V is in Victor or Edit Paste. And then just simply change this to Tree 2. Paste again, since it's still copied. This is Tree 3. Paste again. And this is Tree 4. All right? So we have this tree, we have this tree, we have, that tree's not doing anything right now. Let's go over here. And maybe we should bring our whole house preview up so we can see it and watch them in action all together. So there we go. And you can see they all have different colors. How cool is that? How cool is that? That is just so simple to do. Dare I say the much needed easy peasy singing faces functionality. Yeah, it's been around for a while, folks. If you're just now learning about this, uh, you must have a real life unlike some of us who seem to eat, breathe, sleep this continuously throughout the year. So, um, Apologize I didn't get a video out sooner. I know a lot of people are trying to figure this out. I totally get it. It is easier than you think. Again, the steps, bring in the song. Make sure your layout has singing faces defined in the faces section. Make sure that, that, that there is information in here. You don't have to come here and save it every time. Then when you go to your sequencer, you want to right click, import timing track, then drag a singing face from the effects list up here to it. Apply a timing track to it. You may have anywhere from one to four tracks depending on the song. Set the eyes to auto if you like. Tell the outline to be on, that would make a lot of sense. And if you prefer to have it suppressed when not singing, that's kind of a cool thing. You might have a whole house effect going on that don't include your singing elements and for them to kind of suppress and disappear while uh, it's doing its thing is cool. Or why not include their outlines in a single mouth movement and eye, maybe make a sub model and make that part of the whole house group so that you get just a little more density from them if they're not singing. All right, I hope this has been helpful. You guys take care, be safe, talk soon.